I, Fadwa Hamoud. I, Fadwa Hamoud. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Michigan. And the Constitution of the State of Michigan. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Solicitor General. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Solicitor General. All right. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon. Let me start by thanking each and every single one of you. Respected community members, elected officials and dignitaries, colleagues, both my Department of Attorney General family and my Wayne County Prosecutor's Office family, law enforcement officers and investigators, Dearborn Public Schools and Henry Ford College, board members, staff, students, our president, APAC colleagues, family and friends, thank you so much for being here. I also owe gratitude to scores of family and friends in Lebanon who I wish could be here. Master of Ceremonies, Zena. Thank you for being the eloquent, strong, resilient woman I continue to look up to, both figuratively and literally. <laughs> Osama, it's a misconception that you don't have children. You've got many here tonight, and I'm proud to call you a second father. <laughs> Judge Bazzi, Mariam, I continue to be inspired by your dedication to serve, and I am forever indebted to you for your guidance, love, and friendship. <laughs> Believe me when I say that words will fail in describing my gratitude today. With that said, it is with great hope for the future of our state, and because of the strength each of you have given me, I am prepared to elevate my level of service to represent our state in the highest of courts as your Solicitor General. Yes, it's true that an Arab Muslim person has not held this office before. I carry those identities and all that they teach me about loving equity and justice with me into this work. Alhamdulillah. It is also true that a woman has never held this office in our state. I assume this office knowing that generations of women before me made unfathomable sacrifices that have allowed an immigrant, English as a second language girl like me, allowed me to dare to aspire to the highest levels of public service. Women like my grandmother, Hajim Zuhair, like my mother, Aida Bazzi, my grandmother Fadwet was here today. My grandmother in Lebanon taught her nine children the value of reading, writing, and poetry with just a fifth grade education. My mother, a civil servant, an Arabic school teacher, and a principal, earned a two-year college degree and used it to teach Arabic to a generation of Dearborn children. I'm also able to succeed because I had strong allies and men around me who helped me when I needed a hand and also who knew how to get out of my way when I needed them to. I thank my husband my partner. <laughs> Ali, who knows just how to advocate for me in those moments when I'm struggling to advocate for myself. 
and Abbas, my brother. I have always been guarded by my big little brother. He is the compassionate giant whose heroic attributes are measured by the size of his heart. I thank my grandfather, Haj Abu Shaw Ibazi. an educator and generous source of light in our family. And I thank my father, Zuhair Alawi. <laughs> who instilled in me an unshakable passion for justice when he would sit my brother and I down and insist that it is never acceptable to side with the oppressor over the oppressed. That passion is one Ali and I are working hard to pass to our children, Hadi and Julia. I love you. I have been presented with this opportunity to advance the cause of justice at the state level because I have benefited from the mentorship, mentorship of none other than our Wayne County Prosecutor, Kim Worthy. <laughs> Kim is a fierce fighter for justice and a leader like no other. During my time at Wayne County, she led, and I watched, and I learned. Under her leadership, I strove to keep our community safe through fair, thoughtful, and compassionate applications of our laws. And I am grateful to you, Kim, for teaching me how. Thank you. In my work at the prosecutor's office, led me to meet the people's lawyer, Attorney General Dana Ness. I have watched our Attorney General step up to the plate as a relentless advocate for the rights of all people. At a time when the people in this great nation are under attack. Dana, I want you to know that I am proud to work alongside you because of your commitment to creating a more socially just realities for communities. Today, the people can rest assured that you have built a team fundamentally driven by a commitment to social justice. Madam Attorney General, on behalf of all of us here tonight, thank you for honoring me with this opportunity to serve. We started today's program with a moment of silence for the Dean of the People's House. And I'd like for us to come full circle. In his last words, Mr. John Dingle imparted was, was wisdom that I urge us to reflect upon about the role of the public servant in American life. He said, in, in democratic government, elected officials do not have power, they hold power and trust for the people who elected them. They hold power and trust for the people who elected them. In my role as Solicitor General, I promise you to never act as someone who has power. Rather, I promise to hold the power of this position and trust for you all the people who elected our Attorney General. I am ready. I am ready now to hold this power because I understand that the power belongs to Michigan's vibrant communities of individuals who lift each other up, of individuals with shared hopes and dreams for a fair and just society. The people have the power. I want you all to know that I intend to partner with our Attorney General to use the law as an instrument for social change and to help give a voice to individuals outmatched by the system. 
I have great hopes in what we can accomplish together for the state of Michigan. Let's do this. Thank you.